The time is quickly approaching for Dragon Quest XI to make its way to the Nintendo Switch. Finally, it's one of the very first games that was ever announced for the Nintendo Switch in Japan, and I remember being so excited going, oh my god, Dragon Quest XI is coming to the brand new handheld console device, the Nintendo Switch, couldn't, couldn't wait. And I've waited a little bit more time than I thought, but it's finally making its way out here. I just want to say that me and my wife have finished the American version. I even gave early impressions on the Japanese version. I'm a big fan of Dragon Quest XI, that is for sure. Now, the great thing is here is there is a demo up on the Nintendo eShop right now for free download. So you can go and try Dragon Quest XI S right now, today. I just got finished playing it. I wanted to give some first impressions on it, what I thought, and kind of compared to the PS4 version of the game. So I got finished playing it. The first thing I want to say is I can't believe how long the demo is. It's really a few hours long. There's a lot to do in this demo. You really get a good feeling of how this game plays if you have never played it. And I recommend going and downloading it right now. As I say, it's free. Check it out. Have you ever been curious about a Dragon Quest game? This is a really great way to jump in. I think the demo is awesome in the sense that it kind of holds your hand and gives you a tutorial and shows you how these games play for a lot of seasoned veterans out there. So I'm going to compare it to the PS4 version. As I say, how is the performance on the Nintendo Switch? I can't believe how good the performance is. I knew it would take a little bit of a hit bringing it over to the Switch. But I watched the opening movie and I thought, wow, they've compressed it a little bit. But wow, it, it looks great. It still looks really, really good. So that was just the opening uh, movie. And I thought, that looks great. Then I was like, okay, crossing my fingers for the gameplay. Hopefully it plays okay. It doesn't look too dumbed down or anything. No. This is a really nice looking, nice playing version of Dragon Quest XI. Color me surprised. I honestly, I don't want to sound like negative, but I was kind of bracing for a lot of hits with the graphics. And I think Square Enix has done a remarkable job taking their time doing a really good port of this. And I, I was running around the world. I would stand there. I would circle the world around me. And I was like looking for a lot of hits. And sh is there a, a bit of a hit with the resolution? Sure. But the frame rate is still there. It's 30 frames per second. Just like the PS4 version was 30 frames a second. I was running around jumping. I was fighting monsters. I was looking at the shading. I was really analyzing it. And I honestly was waiting for the worst. And I couldn't believe how beautiful and how well it played. Now, when you start the demo, it gives you the option to play in 2D mode or 3D mode. Kind of. It says that the 2D mode is only for the full retail version. So for the demo, you couldn't play the 2D version, which I was kind of gutted about because that is the version because I finished this game before. I want to see it play in 2D. Obviously, there was a 3DS version that was released in Japan. We didn't get that, but we are getting the 2D version built in to the Nintendo Switch game, which is kind of exclusive to the Switch version. And that was the that was the version I was like, I can't wait to play that, the 2D version. I'm like, oh, I can't play the 2D version. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I got into the 3D version. As, as I say, that played completely fine. You can play in Japanese language 
or in English, and a lot of people will be excited. You can play with the synthesized music or the symphonic music. And I want to say in the demo, it's locked onto the symphonic music, which is a great thing. A lot of people will be happy about that. I know in the full version that was released on the PS4, a lot of people were upset about the music. And I just want to say, I stand by saying, I thought the music was fine. I thought it was really good. Is symphonic music better? Obviously, it's always better, but I thought it was still fine back then, and I thought it was totally okay. Now, how is everything else? The translation is the same, running around, talking to characters, everything plays like the PS4 game. I felt very at home here, and I it's only a squint test that I would say, oh wait, is this the PS4 version or is this the Switch version? I, I'm really blown away with the conversion they have done here. And also, a thing to note, when you are finished the game, you can continue your progress into the full retail version of the game. So, anything you play in the demo, you know, if you want to just level up for a little bit of time in the caves, that will be, you know, fall over to the full retail version. And it's kind of cool. Like, it's it's fun to revisit Dragon Quest XI once again. And I played the game a year ago, and we thought it was absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy that Nintendo Switch owners can play this game and enjoy it, and it looks really good, and I think they're going to have a, a really great time. And as you know, I finished every Dragon Quest game that there is. I love them all. I'm a big, big fanatic of the series. And the one thing that I've always tried to do with this series is push it. it you know, for sure, I've tried to push it because I want more people to experience some of the fun that I've had with the Dragon Quest series over the years, and I think Dragon Quest XI is a really great entry point for anybody who has not played a Dragon Quest game. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you haven't played any other Dragon Quest game, it's not related to any other Dragon Quest game, only in themes, only in certain monsters, and certain sound effects. The story is its own individual story, so you don't need to play all of the, 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 the first 10. We never got 10. 10 was an online game only in Japan. You can just jump right in and try it out and see if it's for you. And I love RPGs and man, I remember playing the first game back in 1988 and look at what we have now. It's incredible going from those old 2D games to these games now. And as I say, I'm still looking forward to playing the 2D aspect when the full retail version comes out. That's what I really want to dive into. I want to get that experience again. And big props to Square Enix for doing a 2D version. They didn't have to. Listen, they didn't have to at all, but they decided to do it. Yes, they did a version for the 3DS, I get it, but what a beautiful love letter to the original series by including that and including it in the full retail version for the Nintendo Switch. So I am looking forward to playing the full game on the Switch and seeing everything it has to offer. It's going to be a really great time. So big thumbs up for the demo. Go try it out. Go try a Dragon Quest game. I hope you enjoy. So anyways, guys, until next time.